Okay, let's have a look at uh, Pat's qualifying match versus Vulnet Tashi this week. Pat lost this match 1-6-4-6. Six, six. Um, it was a re really tight second set. He uh, he fought hard and, and, and almost had him. Tashi just played a little bit too too well at the right times. I'm going to start with some of Pat's bad shot selections that we need to clean up before his next match. Gets up here well. I mean, I'd like to see him get on his left leg there, go down the line, come in behind it to Tashi's backhand, set up good net position. Or you could roll it cross court. Tougher shot. Um, Pat goes too much down the middle. If you're going to go cross court, you've got to go a bit shorter and closer to the line. He leaves the, the line open, which Tashi then hits and puts Pat under a lot of pressure, moving backwards. Ends up losing the point after a mishit there, but he's got to take that first opportunity to get into the net. Once again here, he sets up a good point. Gets the short ball. Can either come in behind that slice. He sort of waited too long to look at it, but once you've got this one, again, you've got the same two options. Deep down the line, set up the net position, angle cross court. Pat again went just a little bit too straight, and he can't cover that when you give the guy that angle to his forehand. This is something Pat needs to work on. He an easy smash, just go forward, get under the ball. That's got to bounce and go over the fence. This blitz ball can't come back. Give his opponent a chance there. The ball does come back. Can't get up to it. Ends up being a good lob and he loses the point that he set up and should have won. So again, really good setup. Needs to hit that into Tashi's weaker backhand. Gave him the forehand where he made, and he made a nice low shot and he's, he's off running. He can see he's got it below the height of the net, does the smart thing, he's coming forward for the drop volley. And once Pat's made that one bad decision, the neck of the volley does have to go deep. Again, he set it up well. I think he did want to go to the backhand here. If he had to go on the, you know, to a cross-court shot there, inside out, a little bit more distance would have made that. It would have been a tough shot. He got The wind blew the ball, and I think he got a little bit jammed up. So I'll let him off with that one. These errors I don't mind. That plays a good point. Goes for the right shot. He just maybe shot the line a little bit too close here. Just missed it. Very close though. And the same thing here. He's going for the right shot. Just just uh, went a little bit too low. He didn't get up to it quick enough. Ball dropped. So you know, from that we've just got to work a lot on approach and volley, recognizing it early, get up on that and uh, and get it into the backhand corner and set up your net position, make the guy come up with some stuff. Let's have a look at, at Vulnet. How he played. Um, he really wants to dictate with his forehand. Pat has to, had to really fight, get it to to Vulnet's backhand, and or keep depth. Uh, when he dropped it short, Vulnet moved up with the forehand and, and was able to dictate with that. And from there, he's able to keep Pat off balance. And it was just, especially early in the match, Pat gave him too many forehands. He had a good first serve. He liked to, to bomb it a lot. Uh, I'll show you some more. He very often went to the one spot or the eight spot. He went wide on this juice court or he went um, ad side out wide. He wanted to open the court up and, and find his forehand.
as the match went on. De Pascal, he did recognise this and started to move over a little bit, cover that serve, and was then able to hit some good deep returns. I like the way Vulnet sets up early with that forehand. You know, he, he wasn't a great volleyer, but he was happy to use his offense from about three-quarter court with the forehand, and often using a serve like that to set it up, the wide serve on both sides. So you know, next time we play him, we'll be looking for those serves and, and looking to, you know, a point like this, get it into his forehand, then attack his backhand. Uh, and Pat's going to have to come in and knock off some volleys a lot more. He sort of let Vulnet get back into some points with defense and once Gordon got a forehand he was then able to take control of the point. See some more serves here out wide to the 8 spot. Not meaning for my video here to be in uh, sort of in half speed but I'll have to work out why it's doing that. See Pat moved over, you know, expecting it to go out, out there, but he just hit too good a serve, and with the wind blowing in that direction, and the bounce off the court, it, it still got out of his reach. Same here on the on the juice side. Pat started to get ready for the one serve, but you know, to Bullnet's credit, he hit some good ones. There's just too many points like this that, you know, especially early Pat let Vulnet dictate. Um, once Pat got into the second set and was able to extend a lot of the rallies, keeping it the first few balls deep and keep Vulnet back, Pat was then able to generate his own offense, as we'll, uh, we'll have a look at a little bit later. But this is the one thing you didn't want Vulnet to be able to do, to stand inside the baseline and pound away with his forehand. We had to make him come in and finish the point. You know, come in from deep in the court and finish off with a volley. I don't think he could really do that. Bit of a miss hit there, as you heard Pat before you probably before you saw it. But yeah. Pat's got to get his weight behind that ball so he can get his depth. Probably a little lucky to get that call there, Vaughn.
Now, when Pat hits a deep ball, he can almost cover the, the full court. So um, that's what he's going to have to do against these sort of players. Just keep the depth, and then he'll be able to block up the whole court, force them to either make errors or wait for his opportunity to hit his own winner. So these are some good deep returns Pat hit. Um, when he did start to recognise the serve, get out there. You see when he hits that good deep return, he gets to set up and control the point, as we see there. And there he's going to win a lot of those points. There's another one, he recognises the, the high wide. And that's the spot to hit it, push him back. And then all of a sudden, you, Pat gets to move up with his own forehand. Again, nice and deep. Almost the same thing happens. Set up and, and Pat has a chance. That was the one he missed, but that's what we want. Let's get that second hit and get that control of that point. Force full net to play for those shoot those lines from deep in the court. That's when you're going to get the errors or your own short ball. From last week's video, we noticed with Pat's serve, uh, you know, his arm was trailing a little bit. He wasn't getting into the trophy position early enough. So uh, the second serve there, we tried to make an adjustment. These are his serve plus ones that, that I like. You can see he got that up at the at the top of the bounce. Uh, he needs to be able to use this serve to set up a forehand that he can then dictate with. There's some good bounce out there to that side with the wind blowing that way. Probably see he's getting into the trophy position a bit better there. When he comes down this end, you'll see it even more. Bad decision on the approach, but we're looking at you know using the serve. Put yourself in a, in a strong position in the point. Bit lucky there, it wasn't a great serve, but he got away with it and he was looking for his forehand. It's good moving to create that angle. I'd like to see him at the net there to finish that in case that ball does go in.
you can see the uh, you know getting the right arm into the cock position a bit earlier is helping his serve. We'll continue to work on that over the next few weeks and have it firing by his next tournament. Uh, here's some of the, the winners Pat did create. You know, when he played the right way and got the, the first hit in, whether it be off his serve or a deep return or just keeping depth in the point, he also was able to, to hit some winners. He thought he got a, a call there, but Vulnet did give him that one, to be fair. Also got that one, shot the line a little bit there, probably needed to run him one more time the other side. Plenty of opportunity for that sort of play for Pat. A lot of them he missed out on where he, he, he did force Fullnet to go to the slice. And he could have come come to the net and finished off. That's, that's great there. Uh, I want to see him, even after he hits that winner, this was a funny one, it bounced back over the net. I had to reach over and played a pretty smart shot. effort because that floated around quite a bit in the wind there. Yeah, then once Pat's opened up that to the backhand side, hit a lot of heavy balls back behind keep and broken down the Vulnet's backhand, the forehand side started to open up and you could easily roll winners there. You know, he just needed a little bit more time in that match and I think he would have got the better of uh, a little bit unlucky to lose his serve and unlucky not to break back. So hopefully he gets another crack at, at him another time. <laughs> 